Correlations in biological systems give another great example of matrices. Let's say you have a number of genetic traits, and you want to keep track of how likely it is that they appear together. You can build a matrix whose entries are correlations between genetic traits encoded by the row and the column number. Here's a simple example with seven genetic traits, and the entries of this 7x7 seven seven matrix tell you how strongly correlated trait I and trait J are. This entry is 0 if they're weakly correlated, and 1 if they're strongly correlated. So for example, along the diagonals, you always get 1s. In this simple example, you can see that traits 4 and 5 are highly correlated because of that 2x2 two two subblock of numbers close to 1. Whereas, again, in this simple example, traits 6 and 7 appear to be uncorrelated from the other five traits because this corresponding block has entries very, very close to 0. Now these correlation matrices are somewhat special in that they are symmetric. If traits i and j are correlated, then traits j and i are correlated. And in general, you're going to see correlation matrices all over the place, not just in biology, but in finance and so many other areas of statistics.